when you share your creativity, ideas, or thoughts, but it's become difficult when you cannot present them in a structured way. In this case, mind map connection can help to visually represent the relationship between ideas and concepts. Learning connections can help to organize thoughts and make them easier to understand and remember. Now let's see how to make comes true. Hi there. Welcome to Wondershare Edro Mind. In this video, I am going to show you how to add connections like boundary groups, summary, and relationship lines on a mind map. This can be very helpful in problem solving, brainstorming, and creative thinking. So let's get started. Number one, add boundary groups. The boundary groups topics and subtopics together are used to highlight a specific section of a mind map and make it easier to understand the relationships between them. Here are three easy ways you can add the boundary. One, select the topic, press Control Shift B. Two, click Boundary on Home tab. Three, right click and navigate to insert and select boundary on the context menu. You can insert a callout after adding a boundary around the topics. Tips. To change boundary formats, select the boundary, and from style, you can change the colors of the fill, alter the shape of the boundary, and adjust the style of the boundary line. Number two, at summary. By adding a summary to the mind map, helps to quickly capture the main points and ideas of a topic, ensuring better clarity and focus. Here are a few ways to easily add the summary. 1. Select the topic, press Ctrl and close bracket. 2. Click Summary on Home tab. 3. Right click and navigate to insert and select Summary on the context menu. What's more, you can add and edit the text in the summary topic. Expand the summary topic by adding subtopics. You can also change the font format, colors of the fill, and adjust the style of branches. Number 3. Add relationship lines. Some shapes aren't connected directly, but you can insert a relationship line between them. Relationship lines can help users better understand the significance of a topic and its relationship to other topics in the mind map. Here are three easy ways to add relationship lines. 1. Select the topic, press Ctrl R. 2. Click Relationship on Home tab. 3. Right-click and navigate to insert and select relationship on the context menu. By moving the yellow handles, you can change the curvature of the line. Double-click on the label to add and edit text. You can change the style of a relationship line and can adjust the line color, weight, type, etc. Besides, you can choose how to place the text on the line with four different options. We are done with adding connections to our mind map. Let's have a quick overview. We have added boundary groups in enterprise, summary to the SWOT analysis, and relationship lines to the marketing analysis. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe and also watch the video on how to insert additions features like marks, clip arts, pictures, links, and attachments.